welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to mainly focus on my eyes. It's going to be a full face glam, but the main focus is going to be my eyes. So if you guys want to see what type of eye look I'm going to pull off, just keep watching. Oh yeah, and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down next to, down there somewhere. There's a bell right next to it. Bam! Hit that bell, make it ring, and uh, so that you will never miss an upload from me. If you're one of my oldies, thank you guys so much for coming back. I really appreciate all the love and support that I'm getting from you guys. So, if you guys are interested, just keep watching. Let's go. So let's get this started. The first thing I'm going to use is this Prep Step by Bare Mineral. And this is, um, I don't use this every time I put on my makeup, but today I just feel like using it because my skin is already moisturized. So I just want to go ahead and put this, I mean, I just want to go ahead and use this one. So I'm just going to shake it up a little bit. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my face just to prep it. So today it's not going to be one of my normal ways of doing makeup. So it's just something I want to try. Okay. And the, um, the primer I'm going to use, I'm trying to hurry up and get rid of this, but this is my LA... This is my LA Girl Primer. So this primer is it's supposed to give you high definition smoothing face to make your face, make your makeup like glide on really smooth. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, which that's really all I got in here. I'm just trying to use up some of my makeup. So I got some errands I gotta do today. I've been on vacation for almost two weeks now, so and I'm just going to rub this in. And so the foundation I'm going to use is this L'Oreal True Match Lumi, and it's, um, in the shade cool it's in the shade cool so i absolutely love this foundation this is from the drugstore i think it, i want to say it costs like between 10 and 17 dollars i don't know i didn't have it for a while so i will be using this today oh i don't know what i did with my sponge Okay, so let me wet this sponge. I must have wet it and left it upstairs. <laughs> and I'm just wetting it with this setting spray. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and just put it around on my face. foundation is like a, it's not a full coverage but it's a billable foundation you could build it up so I think I just want to build it up just a little bit more so I'm just gonna put a couple of drops on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna spread them up And I think this is good. Hold up, guys. I got to turn that music down because I don't want to get no copyright strikes. You people crazy YouTubers. I don't know what's going on with them. They're getting bored. 
They want to attack everybody. I got an email last night saying that I had a, a, a video on my channel that's a year old when I first started that had some type of copyright issues, but they didn't count it against me. But still, a year? Come on. For real? Got something better to do than that? But it's okay. It was one of my videos when I first started, so I went back and I looked at it and I'm like, I don't even think I had music on there. If I did, you, you could barely hear it. I'm like, okay. So I just went on to tuck it down. Because these people, they're not going to stress me out like they're stressing some other people out. But not me because I'm just on here for the fun. I just like doing this. But I think I got it, guys. I'm, new, I'm using a new lens. Let me know down below what you think about it. Only thing I don't like about it, cause sometimes, like when I move, it go ear 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 ear, and I don't like that. Oh, let me get my powder. So I'm gonna use this Aerospawn setting powder just to set my eyelid. And so now I'm just gonna kind of like fix up my eyebrows. I'm gonna use this old school. This thing is when I first started doing videos, I've been using this. It still do the work, so the job. So why not? Why get rid of it? So I'm just gonna brush these up, and I forgot to get my eyebrow pencil. Hold up. I think what I'm gonna do today is just uh, use this Ardell brow fiber builder and this right here is the same but it's the scupping gel so first I'm gonna go in with the scupping gel I'm just gonna put it all over my hair all over my hair And guys, sometimes when I act crazy in my videos, that's because I don't want to be serious doing this. This is fun. It's not about being serious. It's about having fun. So, it's just me. My personality. Some people take it serious, but I don't. So, I'm just going to take the, um, the black one, the fiber, and I'm just going to go... over this and actually what this is doing is making my hairs just like you put on mascara it's pretty much what this is doing okay So I'm just going to go back in with this. Alright. So today, <laughs> this is the good part. Today I will be using this, um, the um, Shattering by Juv uh, the Juvia Place. That's this. And this is what it looked like. And I am going to go in with um I think I'm gonna go in with this one and this one is um uh, Kashina that's this color here Can you get my boys get the boys get the boys girl so Alright. And I'm going to take this and just 
concentrate right above my crease. And with this, I'm going to build it up. I was going to do a halo look, but I'm kind of crunching for time, so I want to kind of make this look look simple. For my beautiful people that don't really wear makeup. Then I'm going to do the other eye. I need to go get my eyebrows waxed. Plucking it is okay, but waxing is much better. Okay, guys. So now that I got this all setting out, then I'm going to change my brush and I'm going to use this brush is a no name brush. Don't have no name on it. Don't have no number. Oh, wait a minute. Take that back. It's a wet and wild. So I'm just going to clean it off with this thing because I've been using it and I'm gonna go in with Jamela that's this color here wait a minute this color here one thing I don't like about this palette is because there's only three four matte colors all all the other ones are shimmer so I'm gonna go in with this color here and I'm just going to pop that right in my crease. Okay. I forgot to do something. Hold on. Wait a minute. Where is my... I forgot to do something here, but that's okay. We'll do it. So, I'm going to take this Aerospawn again and because I put my foundation on first, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to pop that there. Yeah. And I show you the reason why if you don't know why why I did that stuff. So, let's keep watching. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with that color and try to build it up some. Right in the crease. I wanna keep this look nice and soft. Not too bold, not too crazy. Come on, baby. So, guys, let me know down below what type of eye look you want me to do. Or if any of you are interested in collabing, I'm open to that. I know I would be a little nervous, but hey. I would love to go live, but I'm too nervous for that. I have an issue with public speaking. So, to me, that's like public speaking because everything is live. It's no editing. Like right now, I'm talking to my three lights, the camera, 
my TV, my makeup. And if I say something that's kind of like come out like crazy, I can always edit it. But live, live um, videos, no editing. Sorry, Charlie. Because you will be out there. Once I do YouTube at least a very good year or two. Well, it's a year. But maybe like a year and two months, a year and three months or whatever. Maybe two months, two years. I don't know. Just whenever I get the confidence to do it. Because I will get that. And you'll be like, people be like, what is she talking about? I didn't understand a word she just said. That's just the nervousness in me. And I don't understand why. But you know what? That's another reason why I started YouTube too. Not only because I love makeup. It's because I think it's one good way of um, getting over your fears. And public speaking is one of my fears. And if any of you guys have any fears, let me know down below. And maybe we could work on this together, you know. Okay, so now I'm going to take this I-Man or M-Man right here. And I am going to place this right on my lid. Right there, baby. And it's going to be a cut crease, baby. All right. So, like I said, I want to keep it kind of soft. I know I'm kind of putting it on kind of backwards, but that's okay. It's it's not backwards to me. So my eyes are so freaking hooded. Wait a minute, I'm looking up. Take that back just a little bit, you know? Alright. So I might have to just go up just a little bit more. I'm trying to learn how to make shorter videos. It seems like... When I say I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to make this video really short. I'm going to start just doing one... I first before I start taping that way I just have one eye to do but me I'll find something else okay I think this is gonna be good okay I think I'm done with that. So now I'm just going to go back in with this fluffy brush. And this brush is a Soft Blender 113. And I'm just, I'm just going to go right up over. And tail feather, feather tail it out. You know what? I lied. I got to do another color in here. And I guess it's just going to have to be the black because that's the next mat. <laughs> but me and this black do not get along too well because it just wants to show out. And I don't want it to show out today. Let's see. I'm trying to find my angle brush. And I know I have one. Where are you? Come on, come on, wherever you are. Hey, stop playing. Don't play with me. 
Don't play with me. Okay, I'm going to use this one. I didn't want to use this one, but this is a Lancome 13, and it's very old. Just going to dip into this black. Just a little bit. Not much, because... We'll make it work. Come on, baby. Make it work. Because sometimes this black is too black. And I'm just blending it into the gold there. Just blend it out. Okay, I'm going to tap in it again and do the other side. And I'm going to have to find my other brush. I don't know what happened to it. And I'm just basically staying right in this corner. And I'm going to take my fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend it out. Because I don't want it to look like I have a black eye. This blend, this blend, this blend. Alright. This gotta be blend just a little bit more. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to start doing more of my, um, Vlogging. Let's start warming up out though. Right now, to me, it's just too cold to be vlogging. Vlogging. Blah, 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 blah. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into this color here and I'm going to kind of like darken it up. Just a hair. I'm going to blend it out now. I don't too much care for using the black, but unless it's not really, really pigmented, because you have to be really careful using black. Because sometimes this black don't want to blend out. Like now, it just don't want to blend out. Okay. I think that's it. Alright guys, now that I got that done, let's move on to this is a foil. And I just got this in one of my boxes. You guys could go back and look at some of my unboxing I just uploaded yesterday. And check it out. I'm not sure how to put foil on. I don't know if you wet your brush or you use this glitter primer. I think I'm going to use the glitter primer and, and do this. And I'm going to do this instead of, um, I see a lot of people, they they put it on their, the primer, the glitter primer on their brush, and then they dip into their glitter. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to try something else and see what happens. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, take this little brush here. I don't know what kind of brush this is, but this, it's like a, a shader brush, but it's really, really, really tiny. And I've got just a little bit of this primer out on some tissue, and I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to pat it onto this eye, just in the silver spot where I want to place it. Okay, and then I'm going to take this, um, where my brush go? Okay, then I'm just going to take this flatter brush, shader brush, and I'm just going to dip in my product, just like that, and I'm just going to pat it on there.
let that dry a little bit. Especially by me having the hooded eyes and stuff. If I look up while it's wet, it'll leave a crease. So. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. That should be dry. So let's just put a little bit more of this glitter glue. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Then we're going to take the shader brush and we're just going to just pat it on. I got a little bit of fallout even though I got my foundation on but stop holding your breath and I show you so let me get this big fluffy brush and just barely touch it because you don't want to rub it in So next I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line my eye. And this is a Maybelline Master Precise. It's in the color black. No, I'm good. Uh-uh, I'm good, boo. Thank you. Okay, we're just going to carry this. My eyelashes are so dang on long. I probably should have curled them first, but that's okay. We'll fix it. Makeup is fun. Don't have to be perfect. I'm not good with doing wing lines, but I just like to bring it out some. I could do an 80s wing line. Or can I? Okay. Now we just going to conceal. We're gonna use this NARS. And we're just gonna conceal right up under the eye here. Okay. I know that looked like orange in the one in the um, camera. It kind of looked orange. I don't know why it's looking orange. They do kind of look like orange or whatever. Let's just... Okay guys, so I'm going to use my eyelash curler and I'm just going to curl my eyelashes.
I'm not going to put any falsies on today. I'm going to take this mascara I got from TJ Maxx and it is Seductive Length by No Brand. It's by Raskis Beauty. Never heard of them. So let's just. I don't too much care for this um, eyelash stuff because it comes out in clumps. See, look at that clump. But you know what? It will definitely have to do. Have you guys ever had used Better Than Sex mascara? If you haven't, you guys really need to go and check that out because it's an awesome, awesome, awesome mascara. And usually stuff like that I don't play with, you know what I mean? It's, it costs too much money to be playing with. So I don't I don't usually just play and make up with my good stuff. If that make any sense. And better than sex is very good. It's expensive, but it's good mascara. And then also, see how many coats I have to put on with this lash? Also, um, they are real. It's back there. That's a good um, mascara as well. So this is like my second coat of lashes. I mean, mascara. Okay, that's enough of that. All right, so now we're just gonna sit. Not sit. Now we're gonna set. <laughs> Where's my mind? But what I'm going to do is go ahead and, because I should have set right after I apply my, uh, concealer so that it does increase. So now I'm just going to set with my Laura Mercier. This is in the medium deep. And I'm not going to really let it bake. Then I'm going to take my... Where my fluffy boys? Going back into this palette, I'm going to take this little brush. This is a flat, I don't know what you call it, but, uh, oh, eyeliner brush. And I'm just going to dip in this one and the black. I'm sorry, not the black. I'm going to dip in this one and this one. And I'm just going to... I'm not going to put too much because... Like I said, I want this look to look all dramified. It is that a word, dramified? It mm -hmm. 
It's a word now. It's a made up word. So I'm gonna take this little fluffy brush, make sure there's no other makeup on it. And this is by Elf. And I'm just gonna go in there and then I'm just gonna blend that out. One thing I hate about like shimmer or colors, this eye is kind of like, I don't know how to say it. It dips in right here, this eyelid. I'm thinking about going and have them pull it up a little bit so it doesn't dip in and interfere with my vision. Okay, what's next? Let's just do a little bit of contour. How about that? And this is one of my old contour stick or collection. It is by City Color Collection Contour Stick. Actually, this is one of my very first contour stick I got. We're just going to put a little bit up the nose here. Which I don't really have to contour my nose. I don't even know why I'm doing it. I said I didn't want to be no extra today. See, this is what happens when you say you're not going to do something. Then you end up doing it. Hmm, okay. Where is my contour brush? Just gonna blend this stuff out. Chisel, whistle. Chisel, chisel. We're gonna go up, not down. See what I did? I went down. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Just hold on. Hey, we'll show you how to fix that. Let me go down my nose. Colorful, Camille, I can hear you, girl. Tina, girl, blend that stuff out. <laughs> I'm blending, honey. I'm blending. So, I went down on this and I don't... But I'm going to fix it. Take the blender and just beat your face. Down, down, down. See how I got that? But that's all right. We'll fix it. We will definitely fix it. Now watch. Okay. This is the highlighter part of that contour stick. And I'm going to take it. You want to go light though. You don't want to go too heavy with this. Then you want to take your blender and you just want to bend down. I saw this trick on one of those big YouTubers. Uh, beauty grooves. I can't remember who it was, but it was one of them. There you go. And the reason why you don't want to go down is you don't want your face to drop down. Alrighty. So now, let's line my eyes. This is by Pixie. You guys know what eyeliner this is because it's getting smaller, smaller, smaller by the minute. So I'm just gonna 
I gotta find another eyeliner. And I like this one because it doesn't run. I need to, it came in one of my subscription boxes. And I need to Google it and see what, see if I can order another one. Okay, now we're just gonna take um, my mascara. Where did it go? Right in front of me. Now I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. So if you guys go to TJ Maxx, that's where I got this from. You get two of them in a package. Don't don't waste your money. Yeah. It's not even worth it. It comes out too clumpy. Just trying to save you a headache. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm just going to See? Told you guys. Uh, see that? That's why I don't like it. bit more concealer there. Uh. Okay, so now I think what's next? We're just going to put a little bit what is this? Okay, we're just going to put a little bit of highlighter and I got this at, where did I get this? I forget where I got this. Oh, I got it at like a, a nutrition place, like a place that sell like vitamins, whatnot. One of those places. So... This is what it looked like. You have the white end. You have the white end and you have the pink end. 99% of the time I'm using the white end. Because I don't really wear that, that much pink. So, and what I use this for is the brow bone. Just take it and just rub it in there. And I do the same for this side. See, got it. See? I got mascara all over the place. Let's use this hand. Okay, guys. So that's that. Now we're gonna move on to the lips. We are gonna use, this is Girl Lati Beauty. It's a makeup lip paint. And this is in the color, the Mog. That's the color of this. This is in the color, the Mog. 
I don't think I ever used this. If I did, I don't remember how it came out. So, I got lip, a lip treatment. I got a lip treatment on, so let me wipe that off. Oh, guys, come on. I gotta do my cheek. You can't, you know, man, see? I see how y'all are. Y'all was gonna let me get up out of here without doing my dang on blush. And this is by Tarte, and this came in one of my kits as well. And this is in the color Fasty. And this is how it looks. And I'm just going to dip my little um, shadow brush into that. It's going right up over the contour. And then what I like to do is I like to take this fluffy brush. And I just like to just blend everything out. And I'm not going to put no highlight on. So. So back to the lipstick, guys. So let's check this out. I'm not going to even line my lip. And I got this out of one of my boxes. I'm not sure if I told you guys that. Okay. It's not sticky. It's definitely matte. So my next thing I'm going to take is my lip gloss by Fenty Beauty. And I don't know what color this is in, but I figure it matches my lip gloss. I mean my lipstick. So let's just see what it looks like. Hold on. Not bad. Not bad. So now I am going to spray my face. And I kind of want to get a glow today. So I'm going to use my Color Fix setting spray. Illuminating setting spray. But you definitely got to shake it really good. And it comes out in a mist. So now that that's on, what I'm going to take is my Prep and Prime by MAC, and I'm just going to set the rest of it. Sometimes I could get carried away with um, the spray. This is the final look, guys. Nice, easy. Oh, no, that's not the final look. I gotta take this thing off. All right, guys, so this is the final look. I like it. I really like this, um, this, this right here. I just got it yesterday in one of my bags. I'm not sure if it was Ipsy or it was either Ipsy or uh, Sephora Play. Either one of those. And if you receive those subscriptions, I'm pretty sure you got it too. And if you do have it, let me know down below if you used it already and how do you like it because I love it. I love that, like, I don't know, it's like an ash look. It's like a, a gold foil, not a gold, a silver, a silver uh, foil. I can't talk today. Okay, so guys, I hope you like this look. It came out really nice, simple for me to go out and do a couple of errands, run a couple of errands, and 
maybe pick up lunch or something my hair. final final look i hope you guys like this look i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what type of videos do you like for me to do mostly you like voiceovers you like unboxing you like hauls or you just like overall everything that i do and if you do thank you so much so guys if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the bell next to it so that you'll never miss an upload from me if you want to see something a little bit different if you want to see a different look or whatever it may be just go ahead and leave that question down below because i do try my darnest to answer everybody back so um yeah so i think that's all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay. <laughs>